Give up now, Dr. Frog. As you well know, the great Voltar is the undisputed champion of this game. Yeah, but I'm winning. <laughs> hmm. Sounds like he got his head stuck in the sock drawer again. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess. You swallowed a time-delayed explosive bonbon. <laughs> Your vocal cords were abducted by aliens? They can do that? Oh, yes. <laughs> Nimrod the Dark One? The movie? <laughs> and you just found out it's opening tonight. A movie based on a comic book? Ooh, now there's an idea. Will there be explosions? <laughs> Giant battling space robots? <laughs> and then... Uh, uh, Red, use your words, please. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, there probably aren't any space robots, but I think there's a dragon. That settles it, men! We're going! Really? Walter, there is nothing evil about the movies, except the prices. <laughs> Puny neighborhood ants, blissfully going about their business, unaware that they're being watched by an evil mastermind. <laughs> <laughs> The League of Super Evil Emergency Meeting Alarm! Quickly, to the secret meeting spot! Uh, maybe we should find a more secret spot. Voltar, yeah! what's going on? Did the radioactive chinchillas escape again? Is the smoke detector out of batteries? No! I... Even worse. <gasps> Steve, our next-door neighbor, my sworn enemy, got a trampoline. No! Hey! Wait! That's it? Doctor. Frog, I need you to create a flying electric octopus that will destroy everything around us and thus remove the giant bushy-haired tree sloth from blocking my view. If Nimron did it, then so will we! Would a flying atomic octopus do? <laughs> you never know when you need to prune, right? <laughs> <laughs>